What is up guys, this is YK404 back with you during um, CWL and today I'm not gonna show you some crazy army or <laughs> some super witches with bats or anything like that. Today I am super excited to present to you a very common army but really well executed. Um, so the army that I'm bringing to you is Zap Dragons. Um, usually, p personally, if I do it, what I do is I zap out any Inferno that has nearby air defense. So uh, I get a good value. And then I funnel using my heroes on one side, then funnel using a baby dragon on the other side, and send my stone slammer in for the base and then push my dragons through the funneled uh, middle section so they don't split so it's not a lot of strategy it's just zap funnel push the dragons but here today let's just uh, look at the base that I hit and see what I planned and how it went so on this base I planned to zap out this inferno alongside with this uh, air defense and zap out this inferno alongside with this air defense which basically took away 10 spell housing space from me and um, I was left with these two um, exterior air defenses so what I planned is if I can send my heroes to grab these two air defenses um, that would be an awesome value and there won't be really any major threat for my dragons apart from the town hall itself so if I can save my warden ability to go through the town hall um, hopefully I'll be able to pull it off and um, it may look like it's easy to send the heroes in to get these two air defenses but here's the problem the single inferno is super close and i don't have a lot of spells left so what i plan to do is i brought a couple of sneaky goblins with me um, to help the heroes drive the way where i want them to um, upon zapping out these things basically nothing's left in this whole compartment so if I just put two sneaky goblins on this elixir storage my dark elixir storage um, then I can put a baby dragon on this army camp and I can drop my barbarian king here on the barracks and then two more uh, sneaky goblins on these drills and maybe a couple of loons to take out this mortar which will then drive my king from here to the archer tower and then walk either uh, back to this wizard tower and get to the air defense or walk to, towards this wizard tower and walk back towards this uh, air defense. In both ways I'll probably have to um, freeze the single because she'll eat my uh, barbarian king before he can probably take out the air defense so there's one freeze I have two more housing spikes left once these things are taken out I then plan to drop my queen near this army camp and um, hopefully she will drive towards this air defense and she'll take it now if you take a good look at it my baby dragon would by now take out all of these um, trash buildings. I'll put a couple of balloons to, uh, you know, snipe this archer tower as well. And this whole compartment will be zapped out. And if my heroes can take out these uh, exterior trash, apart from uh, everything else that I plan to take, my dragons can basically push through this channel, the this compartment of eagle and this compartment of the bomb tower. And there's nothing uh, much around this area that can really make them split. So they're basically straight away going towards the clan castle, taking out the town hall, and then splitting to take out all of these trash buildings. The only thing that I'm afraid of here is the time, which thankfully I didn't fail. So let's not delay anymore. Let's just uh, let's just see 
how the attack went. Alright? Alright. There's the quake. Zapping out stuff around the air defense. And the multi. There's the second quake. And zapping out stuff that I want it. There goes those sneaky goblins to take out the storage and the baby dragon to funnel out or clear the trash buildings. There's the balloons to snipe out that arch tower. Dropping my king, sneakies, balloons, driving my king. Just as planned. And freezing these stuff so that he can just take uh, that air defense. Alright, by now, if you take a look, I have already spent a lot of time. Like, I have a minute and 45 seconds left for my queen to start. And I still haven't started my dragon, so this is a very, very <laughs> ambitious. Uh, hero drive and funnel stuff that I'm doing here and I'm hoping that it works all right I start my stone slammer because I know there shouldn't be a lot of threats so the stone slammer could just go this way and meet my dragons around the uh, core I wanted to send my balloons first because those would uh, act like cocaloons but I mistapped fat finger curse me I don't care <laughs> Okay, so the stone slammer catches a black mine. And I finally reach near the town hall. And I do a nice warden. And the town hall goes down. And by now I don't really have a lot of stuff to stop me. But I do have a lot of firepower. Like a lot of dragons are alive. But I don't have a lot of time. There's a lot of trash buildings. Here's where I think my e drag comes to help. The chain that my e drag sometimes gets around this area is uh, insane. It's really good. So I'll fast forward through this area, and you can see how many dragons do I have left. Four, five, six, seven. Seven dragons left. I took ten. <laughs> That's pretty OP. Alright, guys. Um, check the army for yourself, and I hope you liked the video. I'll see you again next time. Take care.